Well, what can I say, guys? Not like I expected to go. We are here on the side of the road. Um, we're having fuel issues. Not a big deal. I know what's wrong with it. I know what's wrong with it. Um, you guys remember the pump I told you guys to get that it was always a good idea to have one of those pumps. Well, it really is. It really is a good idea, but I guess that when you buy a bad Caterpillar part, shit like this happens. <laughs> Look at this. Look what happened to me. It was all going so well, man. I'm here in Pompano. I didn't get far enough, but look, the cap that goes here to screw it in and to pump it, that came off. I don't know how it came off, but it came off. Um, obviously, we spilled a bit of fuel, but there's air in our system. I need to obviously close that out, close this out. And the funny thing is that the piece I had, the piece that I have for here, that I've always had it, I left it at home. I left it at home. I didn't think I was gonna need it. And um, I cleaned up the truck before I left the other day. And I took that piece out, you know? And then now look, you know? If I would've had that piece, um, I just would've took, took it out the pump, primed the whole system, and get it going. But now I'm stuck here. I'm in Pompano. It's like two in the morning, or like, it's like one in the morning, sorry. It's like one in the morning, or 12.30. I don't even know what time it is. Um, I tried calling somebody, but everybody obviously, it's either out on the road or is sleeping back home, so freaking sucks. Now I gotta wait till the morning. Now I gotta wait till the morning till somebody gets up and uh, somebody can come over here to stay with the truck. Let me hold their car and go to the yard right quick and pick up those stuff and then, <coughs> you know, pick up the stuff and then go ahead and, and, uh, and, you know, come back and install it and get it going. I was supposed to go to McAllen. I'm supposed to go to McAllen. I was on a dead head over there, guys. There's nothing here. I've been trying to book. I've been, I've been trying to book a load for the past week or so here in Miami, and nothing. They're not paying nothing, guys. They're literally not paying nothing. And I know some of you guys might say, "Oh, but something is better than nothing." And uh, to me, mm -mm, that's the issue that there is. You know, some guys say something is better than nothing, and they 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 they, they take the cheap freight at least so they can get some fuel money to me i'm already broke so an extra thousand dollars ain't gonna make a difference anymore you know so it is what it is but um yeah i guess let, let's go to sleep and tomorrow will be a new day for a new beginning guys what a way to start out the night or what a way to start out the trip you know I hate so much I hate so much sleeping on the side of the road this is something I totally dislike I already have my uh, my reflectors up and going but something I totally dislike because people don't respect broken down trucks or broken down cars so uh, I'm sorry if you guys are having a hard time hearing me obviously we're in the middle of the freeway right so uh, yeah let's go let's go to sleep and let's wake up in a few hours to see what we can come up with all right, so we finally got her up up and started again. Um, I'm about to head out, I'm gonna go back home. It's like three in the morning now, guys. I'm gonna go back home to the yard. I'm gonna go and change the part. I was able to get a little temporary fix just to get me back home. Hopefully it waits. You know, hopefully it doesn't go out again before I get there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, change it, and head out again so I can beat the Miami traffic at least before, at least this part of Miami, you get me? Once I'm past Pompano, it starts to, you know, it won't it won't be as bad before morning, but I don't want to deal with this traffic in the morning. If I see that it does get me, you know, it's going to be too late before I can head out, I'm just going to go home and I'm going to go to sleep and then I'll get up, I don't know, at noon or something and then I'll head out again. Oh um, man, I tell you guys, when it's not one thing, it's another, but I mean, it is where it is. Let's go to the yard and I guess that once I take that part off, I'll show you guys what, what the hack, the little hack I did in order to uh, make it work. Okay, so this is definitely not the correct way on how to start the trip. This is the piece that um that I that I changed out. I'm actually here at the yard now, guys. Was able to clog or plug, better said, that little thing up. See, so the way this works is there's a little pump here. I think I told you guys right in the, the previous clip. There's a pump here that you pump, 
and then it fills up the filters if it needs to well i was so happy about this because i've been trying to get that well i've been wanting to get that for quite a while i never got it and then I'm, when i got it i told you guys hey man guys this, this thing is amazing this thing is good and look what happens and it's actually a caterpillar one it's not even an aftermarket one so it technically it should be better but hell it broke <laughs> so i don't know what what the hell happened but anyways um there's only two bolts i'm gonna go ahead and replace this start the truck and i'm gonna get it going again because it's like 4 30 in the morning now and i really want to get out of miami before the traffic starts to come up you know so yeah i'm gonna go ahead do that put some water on the other side that way look at that line see how the line is all wet that's good that means the ac is working good um i'm gonna do that let me check down here no water leaks either i have a little oil leak here guys look i tie that up real good but it keeps leaking it's not that bad it's only a little bit but i gotta keep an eye on it you know um, I'm gonna have to buy a new o-ring or something for there um, I was gonna say something. Yeah, I'm gonna wash out because it got there's diesel all over the place I'm gonna wash that out change this out start the truck and get it going guys let me show you the little experiment that i did so okay you see this right here see this is the gasket right well fuel goes in through there and then comes out through here so what i did was i got this little piece of plastic very very thin it's actually two two there's two pieces see i did the little shape and i opened up two holes for the for the for the, for the little bolts to go through but other than that everything else is sealed that way, when you put it like this, the bag is completely sealed and there's no fuel going in. This is something stupid, guys, but hey, guess what? It got me home, so that's not a bad thing to, you know, like a little, that's not a bad hack to know, you know? But um, just want to let you know. I'm still so mad at this, it's not even funny. Anyways, got up now, I was doing uh, my check, you know, to check, checking everything, making sure everything is good. So now everything is good. We don't have any issues at all. But like I said, guys, everything is good. So all I can say is just go ahead and start the truck and get it going. Start pushing miles back. I, I forgot to tell you guys, but look at this guy. There's so many guys that I've seen now going up with me empty. It's not even funny, guys. It's no joke at all. Car carriers, flatbeds, hot shot, everybody going up empty. And believe it or not, I forgot to tell you guys, but I'm going empty too. I'm actually heading to Mechanic empty, guys. If I, if I don't forget, um, when I stop, the next time I stop, I'm going to show you guys that I am completely empty completely completely empty guys it's not easy but i mean you gotta do we gotta do miami loads are not paying nothing at all and it's crazy because they just called me when i was in fort pierce to offer me a load and i told them well if you pay me decent you know i know the stuff is bad and i know it's all these stuff going on but if you pay me decent i'm willing to go back from fort pierce back home and load up tomorrow i don't care i'll go sleep at the house I'll, I'll load up tomorrow but they wanted to pay me from miami to mccallan guys seventeen hundred dollars from miami to mccallan straight shot i told them no I, I can't do that i can't do that i'm not gonna put all that word to end it was forty one thousand pounds a full load of produce i know i can't do that i can't do that so I guess we gotta continue with our empty trip, right? I'm not gonna load such thing, man. I, I can't, I can't do that.
about an hour and a half here while we now have some lunch i relax for a minute um i'm gonna go ahead now before i head out again i'm gonna go ahead open up the the hood you know check out my fluids especially check my oil level to see if there's any uh consumption i'm not sure if there is supposed to be any i think there is because everything is still still trying to adjust oh i was going to show you guys look at this before i forget empty guys like i said i'm empty i'm going to mccallan empty remember guys we have to i know that i'm not going to change the situation we have but if each of us did their part i'm sure that we can make a difference as long as there's people down in miami still booking those for 13 1400 bucks going to texas what do you think is going to happen they're going to keep pushing those prices they're going to keep lowering them because people are going to keep taking them um like i said you guys already saw i'm going empty to McAllen, Texas. Yes, it does suck. Um, I am in a situation now where I cannot afford to drive empty, especially with the re after, you know, especially after I just did the rebuild. But it is what it is. Like I said before, we're so deep in the hole that some more money ain't gonna make a difference anymore. You know, I am gonna go to Texas. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I don't want to come back to Florida. I'll probably go up to. Uh, New York, Atlanta, somewhere, but I don't want to come back to Florida because if I come back to Florida, then I'll be stuck in the same situation. I won't be back to Florida. At least I'm shooting if everything goes good with the motor um, for about a month, maybe two, three weeks, a month. We'll, we'll see how everything is and how, how's the freight, you know? Uh, anyways, while like I said, we are literally across the chrome shop. Where is it at? Uh, right there. 75th chrome shop and trust me guys <laughs> i wish i had some spare money so i could go in there but unfortunately we can't so nothing let's open our hood let's make sure everything is good and let's get it going Next day here guys so got up like 15 minutes ago um i'm doing here my pre-trip inspection making sure everything is good uh i actually still have to wait about another hour or so to my book resets i can't leave now so i'm gonna take the time you know just to do a pre-trip inspection check out my oil levels you know all the the fluids and stuff like that to make sure there is no issues at all it's always good to do you know to be checking on your truck obviously not as often as i've been doing it but remember guys i just left miami um there could be something else loose that i didn't catch or somebody else didn't catch and i don't want to i don't want to run that chance that that is why i am you know every time i stop i check it i check it i check it. every two hours i stop and i check it because the last thing i want to do is come across an issue but um I mean, other than that, I haven't found anything else. Everything is good. The little bridge that I put here to close up or to cancel the actual hand pump, it's not leaking or nothing. It shouldn't leak, but, I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know. Um, I don't have nothing else that's loose. Everything else is tied. I haven't found any other issues, to be honest. I also already checked my tires, and my tires are good. I started up the reefer. Just so you guys can see that, you know, just so, I, so you guys can see, you know, just so I can see that it, it's working properly. I haven't started like in, in like in three days. So every now and then I like to start it as well. That way I know that it's working without any issues. I'm actually waiting on, on, on a few buddies that are gonna be coming. Look, I'm still gonna show you that I am empty, that I have not loaded. To be honest, I didn't even look if there was anything else. Actually, no, I did look. When I was in Orlando, I looked to see if there was something so we can get something going, but it was just so bad that I just kept going, you know? I wasn't even gonna take the chance. But other than that, I mean, we're looking good. I'm here 
thinking to myself, man, I sure miss my route <laughs> on I-10, man. It's been a minute since I was over here because you guys know that I was off uh, from the road for a whole month. And then last the month before that, I was up north going from Alabama to Jersey. So it's been a, a few months. But I don't come out here, but feels good to be back. I can tell you that much. Yep, we're about to hit Baton Rouge, and then we're gonna stop there in Brostede. Yeah. Check the truck, make sure everything is good, and continue, continue. I still have 660 miles down to the valley, so we are a bit far. guys in Vinton, Louisiana, exit 4. We are 4 miles away from Texas state line. We're pumping some fuel. After that, we're going to go ahead and I guess we're going to fill up the trailer as well, make sure everything is filled up. And then head out. Head out. I still got plenty of miles to push towards the back. I don't know what time I'm going to get to the valley, but the plan is to get there tonight. So, yeah, the plan is to get there tonight and then tomorrow we'll load up. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll, I guess we'll see how the rates are paying going up to New York, going up to Jersey, going back down to Florida, or going to Atlanta. We'll see what I'll do. Truck is behaving good. Truck is behaving good. Everything is, everything is good to now. Can't complain.
Edinburgh. Look at this. So that was loose. I hope you guys can hear me. And I found this. I already put it on, but I found this right here. I swore off. This right here was completely off. So there's little things here and there we gotta keep tracking, you know? Let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and get a screwdriver and tie that up. And uh we're gonna call it a night. I'm tired man. This trip over here to the valley today was long as hell. Jesus Christ. Where my keys at? Just a quick update for you guys. So last night we made it here to the Loves at Edinburgh, Texas. Got up now, it's close to noon. I'm actually on the way to my dad's house. You guys don't know by now, my dad did move down here to the valley. Uh, so we'll be meeting him in a few minutes. We'll probably go out to lunch and stuff like that. Then we'll go back home and try to book a load. I gotta, gotta book me a load and I gotta book him a load, so. We'll see how everything works out today. We'll see how much, or we'll see, you know, hopefully the rates are, are paying better over here, you know? Let's see, let's see. Other than that, um, I don't know if you guys are able to see what I, what I, or notice, or hear what I told you guys yesterday in the, in the previous clip. Um, one of the lines, the compressor came off, I guess due to the vibration and stuff like that, and then I had one of those, uh, other lines, not lines, other, other hoses from the from the breathers that was loose as well. So that's why I heard like a little whistle that I wasn't used to hearing, but I don't hear it now, so I'm guessing that's good. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a few minutes so we can uh, meet up with my dad.